Shut up and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop. We've had a Prezi delivery from my good friend, Ron Hatton, via the Zoom. So yes, there you go folks. Yes, two packets have arrived at Festa Towers today from Ron. So a big, 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 massive thank you to Ron for thinking of dear old Festa again. So should we have a looky kins, folks, at what we've got? So I'll just drop that at the back for a moment. And we'll go for package one. And what Ron's been doing, he's sneaky, is he? He, well, he was chatting in the Zoom, and we was chatting about what we buy, da -da 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 -da, and things like that. And he was on about something, and I said, oh, I'll just add it to me Amazon list. And his ears pricked, and I didn't think nothing of it. But he's a bit of a stealthy old detective, is our Ron, and he's gone through and he's spotted my Amazon list, so he's been sending me some gifts, folks. So we'll open that up. I've got it this way round because I don't want you to see the address. Got a little little message there, a gift from Ron Hetton. Enjoy your gift from Ron Hetton, folks. There you go. So let's have a, <laughs> let's have a look again at what he's got. He's a boy in here. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, nice one. Nice one. It's the 70, it's the seventy second scale. German A4 V2 rocket. And people will be going, why? Why? Because when I see these things, I see more than just a rocket. I see potentially a spaceship. If you remember Tintin, the TV cartoon, used to have a spaceship... Uh, a red and white checkered spaceship that was the V1 or V2 rocket. But yeah, I kind of, uh, I was looking at that box art now, I've just got this image of a little LED smoky effect as it's taken off. So we'll see, we'll see where I go with it, folks. Let's get the old knife of opening this out and show you in more detail what's in the box as well. I'll just open this up and this is perfect because like you say been 70 seconds scale it's still a fair size old bit of kit there as you can see that's yeah it's a big old uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a big old rocket there um yeah it's a nice length from all of that lot trying not to snigger like a five-year-old folks but also the potential of that with a nice little base you got some decals there that go on it as well, some of the markings and, and things like that. But when I look at that, I just I don't know, I could just see like a lit base where it's taking off a little bench buddy in the corner or something like that, you know, like a little light that you can put put on whilst I'm gaming uh, and have a bit of ambience at the bench. So yeah. I like that, I like that a lot. And it comes with all the base, all of this gubbins is in there. So it's pretty much as portable as it can be back in the day. But yeah, I kind of, yeah, I kind of got an idea of where I want it to go. Uh, I've got different paint schemes as well, folks. So in the comments there, bung in what you think paint scheme wise that uh, Festa should go for, do I go for? A striking black and white checker. I like this zigzag as well. It's a different effect. You've got an olive drab effect there. But it's gonna it's gonna sit over in that corner. And yeah, I kind of Yeah, I kind of got this idea. The only reason that one's appealing to me is in the corner on a little stand is my hoover. Yeah. And yeah. And that sits upon a little tripod. And I'm just wondering whether that black or white would work, folks. But there you go. Look at that. Massive, massive thanks to you, Rob. That really is appreciated, mate. I'll put that back in its box for a bit of safekeeping. And then we'll come on to package number two. Make sure I put my decals in nice and safe. Put them in the instruction book there. So we got my rocket. 
looking rather rocky there. Too light. And then we got package number two here. He's <laughs> a boy. A gift from Ron, as it says. Enjoy your gift from Ron. Yes, I'll just pop that with my little pile of message. <laughs> there you go, folks. Let's open that up. <laughs> yes, folks. I commonly get mocked for my scuzzy pots of brush cleaner and it's got, a, it's got me a nice master's brush cleaner and it's one of those folks you get to do this you undo a fresh pot and you must smell it folks oh it's just so citrus it's just oh, it's a gorgeous smell one of them excalibur moments you get like when you open up a brand new iphone you're like so there's a nice pot of Master's brush cleaner, <laughs> and he's got me, he's got me the AK Decay and Abandoned Weatherage set, folks, yes. Because those of you that have been keeping an eye out have been noticing that I'm doing a lot of abandoned vehicles. But Ron's picked up on that, and he's very alert, and he's got me the pigment sets to do all your moss, your decay deposits for abandoned vehicles and faded greens that give you all of this effect if you see that filtering effect down the sides of the vehicle there all around the window rubbers and that and along the edges of the roof that's what you do it with folks so ron you are a legend mate absolute legend folks so as you can see and he's really fault with me here and, and yeah there you go folks have you some of that well ron Thank you again, mate. You are an absolute star, mate. You put a little joyous smile on Fester's face, mate, at a time when things aren't going so well. So, big thanks for thinking of us, mate. It is massively appreciated. Absolute star, Ron. Many, many, many thanks, mate, for your generosity. And until the next time, folks, stay safe and stay well. And if you do see Ronnie in the chat, give him a nice little thumbs up for his, his generosity, folks. It really does mean a lot. So until then, bye-bye for now. Stay safe and well. Hey, kid. Don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down 